going to do a test on these solenoids, these your inlet solenoids for your incoming mains. On this one it's got twin solenoids on. Looks to me like it opens one for the conditioner and one for the powder. Sometimes obviously you have hot and cold water incoming so you're going to have more than two. And sometimes these can fail even though they're electrically sound. Like if your water pressure is too low it won't seat the solenoid properly. The, uh, the closing valve properly and it will leak through into the machine. So check your water pressure. But to do an electrical test on these, you just test the continuity between the two posts and check the resistance. If you, want to, if you need to get these off, just prise them off a little bit. Can be tough to get off. Obviously make sure your electric's off. Just connect your meter across the two terminals on each valve. They're usually around about 4,000 ohms. So I'm going to set it to 6k. And as you can see, can you? No, 4.27. So that's fine. Now I'm going to do the next one. And that one's 4.2 so they're very close so they're good readings that is it easy to test just make sure you put them on the right ones obviously so now I'm going to show you how to take it out if you need to replace it these two are good, but if you need it to replace, all you have to do is undo these rear screws. Obviously take your water pipe off as well first and then you might want to change your washer on them as well. It comes away pretty easily. Obviously you've got to change, pull your wires off and pull these pipes off as well. But I ain't going to do that because they're all sealed nice. I was going to put this back. So that is it, I've made sure it's tight, make sure this this uh, gauze is in there, if that ain't in there you could let some large objects in there which can block your solenoids in the open position, if that happens you'll be having a flood. Make sure your things are tight and the locks are on. That is it really.